Yo, yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, this time, it's on another Timberland boot. Right here, guys. This is one that you don't, you don't see a lot of. It's, this is the Timberland 6-inch butter. These are the butter tins. As you can see, they're the six inch wheat, but I mean, not wheat, but butter without the collar. Uh, that's why I messed up it back when I bought these. And these are some of the first generation tin that I own. I actually had this particular tin here since the late 90s. Just took care of them. Look at the sole. Took care of them. You know? Then wear them a lot. Because that butter color really gets dirty. I just wore them when I dressed. I had them ever since like 99. To be exact. I think I picked these up at Shoe Carnival. 1999, guys. I had them thing almost, what, 20 years. It's still holding up. Now, a lot of people say... You know, when I got these butter tins here, butter tin was popping. All right, still popping to me. But now you don't see as much butter tins. I don't see none. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're still out there, the butter Timberland boots. But uh, you don't see them as much now. Turn it so you guys can really get a good look at that boot. It's probably better if I put it on a box for you guys and just kind of sit it there. Anyway, I'm going to get this box here. That I had in my last bit. It's a high tech box. Doesn't matter. Box is a box. Put them down so you guys can get a good look at the boot. There you go. There you go. Alright. Now, like I was saying, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, the Timberland boots like these right here, guys, was like, these were very popular, right? Now, at the time I bought these, I didn't know that, that the collar made a lot of difference. People were telling me, say, oh, man, you you got the butter teams, but you got it without the collar. So I said, what's the difference? He said, make all the difference in the world. The butter team without the collar don't look as good. So me personally, uh, well, how I used to rock mine is like, as you can see, I like to flip my tongue. I like to rock my tongue with the tongue folded like this. That's why I rock my tongue with the tongue folded. And what I did, I just like pull my pants down over the collar part right here like this. So you only can see where my tongue flipped out. You can't actually see the collar. So that's basically how I rocked these for years. Because everybody was saying, you know, the ones with the collar like these right here. If they had the collar, they'd be popping. You see what I'm saying? Imagine it with the collar. Y'all get the picture here? If they had a leather collar to the top, mm, it does make a lot of difference, though. You look at it, think about it. If it had a collar on it, even if it was a little taller with a collar, like the 8 inch ones, like that, with a collar, <laughs> it would have been popping, right? Look at here. Picture, I'm going to turn this around, man. Just think if we had an 8 inch with the collar like that. Oh, yeah, that would have been popping, man. You could tell. Just with the collar to the top alone made all the difference. Because people are like, man, you going to rock them? I said, yeah. So, man, so everybody would tell me just pull my pants over because of the fact of that collar. Uh, then nobody really like to rock the teams without the collar. So I didn't I didn't know. <laughs> Cause I only I got my first teams like early 90s, like 91, 92, which I was but like 13, 12, 11, 12, 13 years old. Like 92, 93. That's where I got my first team up in there. Which it wasn't this style, it was more of a low cut team. Then I got the uh, all black teams, like 90. I think it was like 94. I had all black leather teams, which I got a pair of right here that's beat up, guys. Got a pair of black leather teams. I had a pair similar to this back in the early 90s. See the teams right there? 
in the black leather Tim's. Like I said, I work in these now. It's cut grass in them, but you see them. They the black leather ones. It's beat up, but I had something like these, like in '93. I was in uh, elementary school. '93, man. I had a pair. I used to rock, man, like this. I'd fold a tom back in the '90s, just like this. You know, they the black Tim's, but they beat up. Like I said, I cut grass in these, but. I had something similar to these right here back in like 92, 93. Like they even got the collar to the top, as you can see. All right. So, yeah, man, I had them way back in the day. See, so, um, well, not exactly them. I had something like them, black. <laughs> it's a rock the black Tim, six inch black Tim. Black leather all over. Early 90s, man. It's a rock, them bad babies. We used some cross color jeans and all that stuff. Had that, man, back in the day. 94, 95, had cross color jeans. 93, 92, somewhere up in there. But anyway, uh, the Tim's like this right here. The chest one popped. I don't even know if they popped or now. Without that collar up there. I saw people say, well, you can take it and color it in or you know, put it black around here and try to make it look like it's a collar. But I never did it. I just left them like they came. I wasn't going through that much. Uh, I told my father just... The only reason I didn't go back and buy... Um, <laughs> I didn't buy these no more with the collar to the top. The reason why... Because after I got to wearing these right here, guys, I realized at how many stains they start to pick up. So I was like, dang, man, you know, I rock these. It's like, it's like soon you wear them, like something will get on them, you know. So I said, well, folk telling me to get the ones with the leather collar. But I'm like, man, I don't know if I want them, you know, especially in the butter. This this is what they call the butter teams. And, um, because of the fact they every little nick pick that hit them, scrape them, touch them or whatever, they got a stain on them. So I said to myself, I won't buy no more of this color. So this is the only butter Tim's I ever bought because they picked up so many stains and scrapes and little nicks hit it. Like now you can see every little nick picking thing on it. See that? See? Every little nick pick that hit it, you can see it. And when something black, like if you're driving a car, accelerator, pad, pedal, or something touch it, blackness would get up there. I had to clean them back off. So I didn't ever buy this color no more. <laughs> so mainly what I bought was either the dark brown Tims, the black Tims. I bought the wheat. And I ain't no real big fan of this color Tim right here. Because they show a lot of stains too. See, so they similar to the wheat, as you can see. That's the wheat color. They're similar to the butter team. You see, one is butter, one is wheat. See that? So actually, I wasn't a big fan of neither color of these, but they 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 went good with everything that you rock. Black jeans, or dark blue jeans, or black tee, or a colorful tee with mixed colors like a, you know. Anything, just rock with that. So after that, I went mostly to buying dark color Tims like these right here because I either bought black or the dark brown ones like this Timberland boot. I did became so this one need cleaning up a little bit, but this I got a lot of dark brown ones like this here. This is six inch. This is what they call it. I think it's the Russ, all Russ, Brown Timberland. So I got a lot of them, man. So I kind of got away from buying these colors like this because they picked up so many little nick and stains and stuff. And I kind of got away from them. So this is the butter Tim and this is the wheat Tim. But hey. They good. They pretty though. 
Like I said, it go with everything. The tongue. I keep my tongue flipped. I always rock my Tim's like these here, guys. I rock my Tim's. I always let my tongue fall full. Like that. That's the style, man. I've been rocking my like there since the 90s. If that tongue ain't flipped like this, you ain't rocking them right. <laughs> you corny, man. <laughs> You corny, man. If you ain't rocking your tail with a tongue flip like this, you're corny. You might want well to take them off. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And now, you guys rock the tongue flip, man. That's the way I do it. But don't buy, please don't buy the buttercolor ones, man. The buttercolor Tims. They pick up too much. Uh, everything in the world I get on them, you know. <laughs> I mean, you can't keep dirt off them, man. I'm telling you. So now to this day, I don't even haul a wham that much. I buy a wham about once a year because of the fact they get so dirty. But I just keep them in my collection because I had them so long, you know. But I don't wham that much, man. I got some I don't even like. I just got them in a the collection. All right, so guys, take care. I hit y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.